Okay, today we're going to change the rear axle oil in this 2015 Subaru Crosstrek XV, or XV Crosstrek, or Crosstrek as they call them nowadays. This procedure is similar for a lot of Subarus in the past, I don't know, 10, maybe more years, Imprezas. They're all pretty much the same. So the tools that we'll need to do this job are a hex, 10 millimeter, six-sided hex. This is just a socket, a 3-8 socket, an extension, and of course a socket wrench. Uh, there are two plugs here. One is the drain plug, that's the bottom one, that's where the fluid will come out, and then there's the fill plug right here, up higher. Whenever you're doing this, I always try and get the fill plug out first. Because if you pull that drain plug out, and then for whatever reason this one's stripped or it doesn't come out, now you have a Subaru with no oil in it and you can't move it anywhere. At least if we can't get the fill plug out now, we'll know to not do this job now or take it somewhere to, uh, to get it done. But you always want to make sure you can put fluid back in before you drain the old stuff out. So we'll start with that top plug. We'll just try and push that in. We don't want to strip this, right? So you got to be careful. I might use this bar to give me some leverage, but I do not want to strip it. So be very careful with this step. There. And that wasn't too bad. So that's going to come out just fine. So now we can go with the drain. And we'll get a drain pan under here in a minute. Let's just crack it loose. Like that. All right, we'll take this out. And drain that oil. Now it looks like there's a little, I don't know if there's a gasket on those. There's nothing on the plug. So that oil looks a little milky, like it has some water in it. It's definitely not clean gear oil. So I don't know whether somebody's been off-roading this Subaru and they went through a river or something, but uh, looks like there's some water mixed in that fluid. So it's a good idea to change these differentials once in a while. It takes, I believe, less than a liter of fluid, so it's not a big deal, not expensive, and not particularly difficult either to do. So let that drain for a little bit. Pop the top fill plug off. Yeah, so there is a little gasket on each of these as well, which you should replace. I may end up reusing this because I don't know that I have that size. And it looks like this one's just stuck on there right now, so we'll pull it off once it's drained. All right, once it's done dripping, you can put the fill plug back in. Now this has a little bit of a magnet on it, so there's metal filings that collect on there. You can clean that off. It is slightly magnetic. To collect those filings as the gears wear out. Just clean that surface. That gasket, I'm not even gonna worry about it. This car has never leaked a drop. Let's see if it leaks. If it leaks, I'll pull it out again and do it again and put a gasket on, but I don't have one right now. I'm not too worried about it. These things generally don't leak too badly if you reuse the gaskets. We'll tighten that up. Now there's probably a torque spec here. I'm just going to do it kind of tight, but not ridiculously tight. Now these call for 75W90 GL5 gear oil. Uh, you can buy it at Subaru. I'm just going to use this generic stuff. Synthetic 75W90. It's good enough. Now, what I might suggest here, depending on the style of bottle you have, is you might get a little piece of clear tubing and put it in here. If you have a transfer pump, you can just pump the new gear oil in. I'm just going to use this with a piece of clear tubing on it. On second thought, I'm just going to stick this in here and squeeze the bottle. 
there's only less than a liter to put in here so as long as this bottle's reasonably full we can squeeze it in and then i'll go refill it with some more um, but whatever works for you you can use a like i said a piece of clear tubing and have it out here if you have a pump that's great but you can get away with just squeezing it in here if you have a couple of liters of this you can keep one full and then continue to get it out and into the diff okay you know you're done when it starts running out of that top hole and you'll see it dripping and that's the correct fluid level right at the bottom of that hole you can feel in there and see there's fluid there final step is to install the fill plug and tighten it up to spec. Finally, just clean any excess oil off and you're done. I usually do this every two or three oil changes, but you can check your owner's manual for the recommended service interval for Subaru. I think it's like, I don't know, 20 or 30,000 miles or something like that. The most important thing is to do it once in a while and not leave it go forever. Gear oil is cheap enough and it's less than a liter. You can also do this on the front. And I may make a video about that. Watch for that one. Thank you.